In this tutorial, we'll learn how to quickly create some grass in Blender using particle physics. So let's delete this default cube and add a simple plane from the Add menu. Now in the Particle Physics tab, create a new particle system and then enable this option called here. It will create some curves like this, which will eventually form the grass we want, and we can customize its settings from here. For example, we can change this number to say 500, or we can change the grass height to say 1 meter, or whatever we like. But we want these grasses to also respond or sway like this, due to wind, so we have to first enable this option for hair dynamics. Then, in the Field Weight section, we'll completely remove the gravity force. Instead, we'll add some force field, maybe a wind force or a turbulence for some random motion. We can customize the force field in the Physics tab, like we can increase its strength to say 20, and we can also hide it from the display. Now if we run this, we'll see that the grass is naturally swaying in the wind, and each blade of grass has a random motion. But let's make it better with two simple changes. First in the Rendered View mode, we can see that everything has got a default white color. We want to assign a green material for the grass, while its base retains the white color. So select the plane, and in the Materials tab, let's create a new material, which has the default white color. Now we have to switch over to the Edit mode from here. While all the vertices are selected for this object, click on this Assign button, which will assign this base material to the original mesh object. Then back to the Object mode, we'll add a new material in our material list, and instead of the default white color, we can select a green shade, or we can further customize this material as well. Now, in the Particle Physics tab, we have to go to the Render section, and in this material list, we'll select the new grass material. So we get the grass part now in the green color, but we see that the curves for these grass blades are not very smooth. We can give them a better profile or smooth profile by changing the step number. Let's make it 12, and if we want to see that same change in the viewport as well, we have to increase this number, maybe to 10. That completes our setup. And we are almost done. Let's run it once and verify. So the grass is looking beautiful, as it sways in the wind or in this case the turbulence force, but we can also customize the way they react to the force field. We have to expand this hair dynamics, and then go inside the section called Structure. We can change and experiment with these fields, like stiffness or damping, that determines how the grass bends or recovers. You'll notice that it now easily bends and flattens under the wind's force, just like a very soft grass in a garden. This is how you can quickly create a grass field for your project, and you can also add another particle system for a different set of grass to get a more realistic mixture in the output. And if you are a member of this channel, you can also download this blend file for a quick reference. So I hope you like this quick tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.